How often do you use YouTube Shorts? Yeah, it's a lot like TikTok, but it's slightly better in terms of content in my personal opinion. Oftentimes, I see the occasional bad content or weird 10 second video of a Somalian child asking for one subscriber with Minecraft gameplay in the background. <laughs> Overall, most of it's pretty tolerable. Until I saw this specific YouTuber again and again. Most of you have probably heard of DK Oldies at this point, but for those that don't know, DK Oldies is a retro video game storefront that buys and sells games. They occasionally make TikToks or YouTube shorts showing them packing a specific customer's order and shipping it out to them. On paper, this sounds pretty harmless, but let me tell you, the story gets worse from here. Before we take a look at their videos, let's have a look at their website. So here's their actual website. Um, it's actually pretty well laid out. I will give them that. However, there are a couple of things that I do think are actually pretty ridiculous here. Quote unquote retro deal. Having a look at these, it's uh, honest, it's honestly pretty egregious. I can't believe they're actually selling things like this and people are actually buying. The fan favorite, the Wii Sports Bundle Pack. Wii console itself comes with uh, the, cord, the, the cords, you know, it's brick, it's uh, sensor bar, comes with multiple Wii remotes, uh, multiple nunchucks, jackets if you actually care about that, a copy of Wii Sports, and a copy of Wii Sports Resort. Let's get to the uh, elephant in the room. This should not cost almost $300. But let's just go to eBay real quick. Let's say I wanted to get the exact same thing. Here's a, here's a basic Wii bundle, first thing. So it comes with, from the looks of it, it's all of its cords, it comes with two Wii remotes, granted they're not Motion Plus compatible, I mean, without the without the dongle on them, but it's whatever. It's a sideways Wii, so it's, you know, it won't, you know, won't have GameCube support, but that's not my point. And it comes with multiple games. Granted, they're not the greatest games of all time, but they're, it, you know, it's coming with games. Why does this cost $300 when something like this could easily cost 90 I, I just, I, I find that a... I find that a bit ridiculous. GameCube Platinum Player Pack, okay? This, they, remember, they're putting this on the front of the website, so you're supposed to see this first. Without changing anything, there's no, there's no games, AC adapter, and AV cords. 100 bucks. Like, 10 bucks shipping to where I live. Compared to $219 with no games. Really? Next, I want to look at their sell video games page. This is where I think the true colors honestly ship GameCube stuff, okay? So, if you wanted to, looking at their price list, Original controllers, original controllers, they might be in excellent condition. 15 bucks, 17 bucks for these controllers. And DualShock 2 controllers do not cost $10. Uh, they go for at least like 25 on eBay. My, my point is, is that they're, they're lowballing you on this. This is, this is like an actual scam. I don't know why anybody would want to buy from this company. As you can see, they clearly are not the mecca for good retro deals as they say they are. Getting into the videos, one recurring character is Joey, the presumed owner slash face of DK Oldies. After watching a couple of their videos, you might get the impression that he is a lighthearted fellow who only wishes to sell old games to the masses. But if you take a closer look, you'll see that he's way more hyperactive than any normal person should be. He speaks incredibly fast for what seems no reason and there's always an upward tone in his voice every time he speaks. This isn't that much of an issue to me. I'm fairly certain that these videos are targeted towards children, but still, it just irks me the way he constantly talks like this. Now on to the first video. In this video, he packs a PS2 to be shipped to Iceland. Remember, this is going cross-country, so please pay attention to what he does. Stein just placed an order all the way from Iceland. We ship worldwide. And that looks a lot better. Let's get this wrapped up. That's not how you tape up a box. If you don't want your products to arrive broken, please don't use bubble wrap that's about as thin as paper. You didn't even tape up the bubble wrap that's gonna come apart in shipping! In order to prevent further damage, games should not be shipped together as those cases are getting brittle and will break very easily. I can clearly tell there's no padding at the bottom of that box and that bubble wrap sure as hell is not gonna hold up over a trip. The 
DualShock 2 is not wrapped up correctly and the other one doesn't even have any bubble wrap on it at all. And plus, there's no side protection. And since your awesome order got picked to be filmed, how about a PlayStation keychain? <laughs> For how much that man must have paid for this, you could have thrown something in a little nicer besides a $2 keychain. <laughs> Most of that paper should have been on the bottom in the first place. Okay, buddy, your stuff's gonna write broken. I seriously doubt that the way they pack their items is any different than what their videos show. I took a peek at their Better Business Bureau profile and they had multiple complaints of broken items as well as unresponsive customer service. I even came across some comments of older customers who had also received items from oldies that were cracked and broken despite picking non-cosmetically flawed devices. The comments on these videos, however, are just filled with people looking for 5 minutes of fame asking to be in the next video. Why would you even consider paying that much just to be in a video where in 10 minutes everyone will have forgotten what it was about anyway? Let's go ahead and check out another video. In this video, they ship out an original Nintendo DS. Remember, pay attention to what he does here. They just ordered a beautiful handheld. I want to show you how we ship it out. I'll put the game in here and we'll wrap it up. This one's actually not so bad considering the fact that the Nintendo DS doesn't actually weigh that much. Okay, you had me until I saw the bubble mailer. That is not going to protect it at all and it is going to arrive broken, especially since the DS has a clamshell problem where it breaks at the hinge. And since order got picked to be filmed, I'm throwing in the Mario pin. Great choice day, we'll have it soon. I wish I could say that this is infrequent, but that would be lying. This packing style is in almost every single one of their videos, and it really hurts to watch. Joey, I'm sure you're a great guy to be around, but this is just terrible. I have only sold things online a few times, and even I know that this stuff needs more padding. I get you guys need to save on shipping and all, but this is cutting too many corners, and you're beginning to edge into your customer base. This method you are using is very dangerous and could cost you serious business. Please, for the good of your company, start to take a little extra care and lower your prices a bit. The good of the community rests on mom and pop stores like you guys, so please don't mess this up for everyone.